Hi, we are Crypto Noticias. Uh, we are South America's biggest blockchain in and cryptocurrencies newspaper. And I think all of our readers want to know, what do you think will happen with cryptocurrencies this year? What I think will happen is that eventually different governments will destroy their own currencies. And when that happens, there will be a new currency that comes out. Everyone just downloads an app on their phone. And they can all use that new currency after the government has destroyed their old currency. And I think that's going to happen in countries all over the world. So that's what will drive adoption of these cryptocurrencies. Uh, do you don't think like they can work together? How we could have like cryptocurrencies and uh, fiat currencies? You can have fiat currency. The central bank, if central banks issue their fiat currency on blockchain, and we actually one of our investments is a company in Barbados, which is the leading company in the world for central banks who want to issue currency on blockchain. We have it. Get in touch. Uh, I think it's the quickest, it's going to save so much money and really provide a way for central banks to monitor and, and regulate their currency. So I think you're going to see the IMF a month or two ago came out and said poor countries everywhere should immediately digitize their fiat. It's going to give the central banks much more granular control. Um, lately there has been a lot of talk uh, with more and more people getting involved with cryptocurrencies about it being a bubble, that it may be a bubble that made birds. What do you think about it? I don't have any opinion on whether Bitcoin goes up or down. What I'm most excited about is the technology. The technology is going to let it change the world. What, what it does, you know, if you went back 20 years, there were people all excited when the internet stocks went up and then they crashed and they thought that meant it didn't mean the internet was over. It's, there's the internet and there's the stocks. Similarly, there's the blockchain and then there's these different cryptocurrencies. What they do day to day, I don't know. But the world that's being created on blockchain is a robust, fair world, transparent, where there isn't corruption. And the more of the world that shifts to blockchain, the more corruption will be squeezed out of the world. And what country do you think the US can learn from in matters of cryptocurrencies? Estonia. I think the U.S. could learn from Estonia, um, who's being very progressive. Switzerland, uh, Sweden, those three countries, and London, uh, London, England. Those places are being much more, I'd say, forward-leaning. The American government's being very, uh, actually, they, they've been slow-moving, but they're not against it. They're letting it happen. But in terms of countries that are really embracing it, Singapore, Estonia, Sweden, maybe the Netherlands, and uh, London. So it's what measurements do you think that the U.S. government should take in, in this year that's coming in order for cryptocurrencies and regulations to be hand in hand? They need to open their minds a bit about KYC and AML, Know Your Customer and Anti-Money Laundering. Those rules were all devised for a banking system that I think its days are numbered. It's all going to be replaced by crypto. And they're not going to stop that. So we have to figure out how to adopt those rules, legitimate rules, legitimate laws. I understand why they you know, want to keep terrorist money out of the system. So that we have to come up with blockchain uh, ways of doing the same thing. But they don't get to just put a halt on blockchain while they figure it out. And the countries, if the U.S. is, it's going forward in other countries anyway. So there's no, they're really self-defeating if they try to stop it moving forward, which I think rather not going to. Well, it has been a pleasure.